In this video, we are going to discuss inverse Laplace transform of a spectrum. So, here observe the problem, find inverse Laplace transform of x of s is equivalent to 2s plus 4 divided by s square plus 4s plus 3. This is the spectrum of any signal x of t, we need to find out that signal x of t. So, given spectrum, I want to consider here x of s is equivalent to 2s plus 4s square plus 4s plus 3. Whenever any spectrum in S domain is given like this, we need to check for factors in the denominator and we need to cancel that factor by using numerator if possible. If not, we can go for partial fractions. Now, I want to check for my factors that factors are 3 into 1 and 3 plus 1 4. So, 3 and 1 I can take as factors. So, now I am writing this equation as 2s plus 4 divided by this one s square plus 3s plus s plus 3. So, now that is equivalent to 2s plus 4 s into s plus 3 plus s plus 3. If I take common of s plus 3, I am going to get 2s plus 4 by s plus 3 into s plus 1. So, if I take common of s plus 3 out, I will get s plus 1 into s plus 1. Now, I separate it into factors. The denominator is separated into factors. Now, what is the further step we need to go for? So, here we need to cancel this denominator factors by using numerator if possible. Why? Because what we really want, we do not want x of s. Up to now, we did not done anything. We just done the modification of x of s. We just modified the spectrum equation that is it. Up to now we did not enter into inverse Laplace transform. If you want to enter into inverse Laplace transform, this equation must be capable, easily capable to transform into signal equation. But here if you saw this equation, by taking inverse Laplace transform of this equation, you are not readily going to get the signal. Why? Because this is not in proper way. To apply inverse Laplace transform, the equation must be in the form of a particular standard transform. Otherwise, you need to go for definition. That means you need to go for actual process of inverse transform equation. But for any technical exam, that is very typical to follow the fundamental equation and substitute these values and to get all that integrations and everything. For that, I want to write in, in terms of s plus 3 and s plus 1, I want to write like this. This 2s I am writing like s plus 1, s plus s I am writing. So, this 2s I am writing like s plus s, 4 I am writing like 3 plus 1 divided by s plus 3 into s plus 1. So, here s plus 3 I am having 1, s plus 3 I am having that s plus 3 I am taking denominators both denominator s plus 1. So, for the for this s plus 3 I am taking denominator plus s plus 1 remaining for this I am taking same denominator s plus 1. So, s plus 3 s plus 3 gets cancelled these two will get cancelled. Remaining is we are having h of s or x of s is given is x of s this x of s is equal into now. 1 by s plus 1 plus 1 by s plus 3. Now, if you apply inverse Laplace transform, then that is equivalent to inverse of 1 by s plus 1 plus inverse of 1 by s plus 3. Now, this is in the proper way to apply inverse Laplace transform fundamental equation. Whenever your transform is in the form of 1 by s plus 1, definitely you know the signal. When we will get 1 by s plus a format, whenever you are ha having e power minus a t u of t in place of a, here you are having 1 e power minus t u of t plus here e power minus 3 t u of t. So, finally, x of t, the signal inverse Laplace transform of x of s equivalent to x of t is equal to e power minus t u of t or you can write like this also e power minus t plus e power minus 3 t into u of t. 
so like this way also they may give option so in this way by just separating numerators and by taking factors of denominator you can check easy solution for several inverse laplace transforms